This is the, my uh, brand new three truck <laughs> Climax. Already fried the motor in it. Uh, this is the old one. Now, these are pretty darn tiny. Anyway, uh, I know I burnt it out because I did an ohms test on it and it was barely 10 ohms. The new motor is supposed to have about 60. Took a bit of work to take it all apart. And what I ended up having to do here was uh, put all the components in, uh, in a box and sit and wait for a while until I got this motor. Now, uh, fortunately, North West Short Line makes this motor. I got lucky, and uh, this is sort of it. Um, you see the screws that drill in on the end here are at an angle. But you really can't see it on this, but the mounts for that one or straight across. So I had to uh, pull the drive out of this metal casing and switch it with this one. And these two are exactly the same, right on the money. So I got pretty lucky. Uh, I put the flywheel and the worm gear back on and soldered it up. And I'm just doing a break in right now, make sure it runs good. Um, one other thing I had to do was the uh, motor is plus wire, orange, goes to the positive side of the motor. <clears throat> and the negative goes to the negative. Soldered it all up. Unfortunately, the thing was running backwards. So what I had to do was I went up to my decoder pro. I still have it on uh, address 3. And I guess if you can basically see right here, I had to change the direction so it'll run in reverse. And on fun function map, you have to do the same thing too. And just basically make the forward light think it's in reverse and the reverse light it's thinking in forward. So you just switch this and this from here to here. And that's how you get a wrong wired motor to run in its uh, new direction. Now, in order to do this without having to unsolder everything, I decided I'd do that on the uh, Decoder Pro. And uh, instead of unsoldering this, I didn't want to play around with the wires and solder too much around such a tiny motor. And it's pretty hard to get any kind of a description of how small this is, but you can see right there, <laughs> compared to my thumb, this thing is barely, barely a uh, three-quarter of an inch long, and uh, three-eighths thick. And uh, Anyway, this wouldn't go in with this housing because of the angle screws. I tried it. The mortar would have had to sit at a slight angle. There's not enough room in there. It has to lay flat. Fortunately, I got lucky. The uh, housings are spot-on, bang-on identical, so there it, is. there it is. I gotta put the whole thing back together again and then run it after I do a break-in. Anyway, thanks for watching.